Okay, so the first batch of boards is here. So let's test how quickly we can put them together using the different uh, building techniques that we've discussed before. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about is the original design was to use these little battery holders, right? And the reason for that is that these are really easy to solder up into a board and then really easily and quickly uh, you pop in batteries. And so then you can build this thing and then populate it with batteries uh, and I, well, hopefully what we're gonna show that is a way faster way than doing something like this. This doesn't have the holders, which means you, you avoid the extra cost of having those uh, holders, but what you save in money, you waste in time by having to uh, glue all these cells here first and then solder all the stuff. And then what I'm gonna do with this one's also uh, use a spot welder because this is a lot faster than actually having to solder uh, into the cells, especially on the negative side, takes a long time to heat that up so that the solder flows uh, and it looks kind of messy at the end. These guys, like right here, look pretty neat. So let's get started. Let's see how much each one of these building techniques takes in minutes. Boom. Damn, okay, so about five and a half minutes to do a full board. Now let's do the other board. Okay, I guess lap three is going to be the time it takes me to assemble the boards. Okay, let's go through the numbers. To assemble the one using the holders, it took five and a half minutes, plus two minutes to install the uh, standoffs and then the little connector so that you can uh, interconnect it to the next one. So per board, it would take about seven and a half minutes. Now let's look at the other one. With twice as many cells, but without the cell holders, it took 13 minutes and 13 seconds, right? Plus the two minutes that it takes to put the posts and the connectors to be able to assemble it to the next board it comes out to 15 minutes and 13 seconds per board. Now clearly using the holders is much faster, right? Wrong, even though not using the holders took twice as long, we were able to assemble twice the amount of cells. So that means that it takes roughly about the same amount of time to assemble the boards either way. Now let's look at the costs. Let's say you order 100 PCBs. Since this is an open project, I'll be making the Gerber files available to everyone. This is how all the components costs break down. 100 PCBs using the battery holders comes out to a total of $472.76. While 100 PCBs without the holders and all of the hardware needed comes to a total of $298. Now this way, the system will allow you to house 700 cells and this way, 1400 cells. At an average of about 10 watt hours per cell, that's about seven kilowatt hours and 14 kilowatt hours. So that means this costs $67 per kilowatt hour, and this way $21.28 per kilowatt hour, and about 1.78 hours per kilowatt hour of your time. Now this is highly anecdotal, right? I just did one board and I timed myself, and it could be somewhat different on another time on another setup, right? Now this is why I'm making a few of these test boards available to you guys, so you can try the same thing and see what your results come out to be. Now all the prices on my breakdown are real numbers. Now I spent a few hours searching on the internet to try to find the best deals on all the components that I would need. I have included the links to the board and all the components and best prices that I can find down in the description of this video. 
Now this board is not the final revision. I still wanna change a few things here just to make it a little bit better. And then once that happens, I will make it widely available to all of you guys. You guys can buy all of these, you guys can build them, you can do whatever you want, you can buy the parts wherever you want. And then from there, I can't wait to see all the builds that you guys do with this board uh, and all the bots that undoubtedly will come from a lot of you guys that are talented and need a board like this slightly different, right? So please share all those with us. Hopefully we can make this board and a system much, much better than what we got right now. And it'll help us build more DIY power walls. I wanna thank you for watching this video. As always, stay tuned for future DIY videos like this one where I'm testing all the 21700 cells that I can get my hands on. Now it's gonna take a little while because these are large cells and it takes a while to cycle through them but this video should be out pretty soon. Thank you and see you in the next video, bye. If you're interested in learning about lithium battery technology, I recommend picking up this book titled DIY Lithium Batteries, How to Build Your Own Battery Packs. Available on Amazon, it's a great way to start learning the basics. Until next time, bye.